Hey guys, this is Samshivit with another tutorial whether how we can create and set up a subreddit. Well, Reddit is a social media platform and online community where registered members can submit contents such as text posts, links, images and videos. The site is organized into subreddits which are individual communities focused on specific topics or interests. And subreddit is an excellent way of building and nurturing communities around those specific topics or interests. They provide a dedicated space for like-minded individuals to connect, share experiences, and engage in discussions. Anyhow, to create a subreddit, you need to have at least a month-old Reddit account and a reasonable number of karmas. Karmas are actually the rewarding system, whether how valuable your contribution were on the platform. And here you can see that I have 43 posts and 78 comment karmas for now and increasing. Anyhow, to create your subreddit, either you can go to settings under your profile and select create a community. Or you can click on a create community on the sidebar of the main page. Here it will open a small pop-up window where you can put the basic info of your subreddit like its name and if you want to keep it a public, restricted, private or employees only. Well, the explanation of the options are pretty much explanatory and even if it's about 18 plus contents. Anyhow, while giving your subreddit a name, make sure it's not impersonating any individual or entity. Otherwise, your subreddit will be deleted right away and your account will be banned. So pick a name that suits well to the niche you are making your subreddit about. Since my subreddit will be about boosting productivity and honing skills, that's why I'm giving it a name Gentech Tips. And while writing the name, make sure you don't add these spaces, otherwise it won't be accepted. And for now, I'm keeping it public and turning on the 18 plus option which we can change any time we want. And then click on Create. Now your subreddit has been created and here is its first look. Now let's start setting it up. First let's introduce the subreddit by adding some description. So put something that you think is attractive related to your niche or the contents you will add here. And since my subreddit will be about boosting productivity and honing skills. I'm mentioning the most common areas I will post my contents about. Here, select your subreddit primary topic. You can select one primary topic and 25 subtopics. And don't worry too much selecting them. You can change them anytime you want. And if you don't find a subtopic, you can just write them manually and either hit enter or comma key to add them. And then click on save. Now let's change the appearance of our subreddit. And to change the appearance, click on mod tools. Here on the sidebar, select Community Appearance. And here we can change the appearance of our subreddit. Like we can change the color theme of our subreddit. You can change basic and highlighting colors. And you can change the background color or even add an image in the background. Since I don't want to, I'm just leaving it as it is. Here you can change the format of your subreddit name and add logo or icon. And if you don't want to show the logo or icon even after uploading, you can hide it by selecting this option. Then click on save. Now let's add banner. Here Reddit has given the dimensions of the banner that fits well. Just select your background banner and add it. Moreover, you can add three banners. One for the background, one for the additional background, and one for the mobile view. Anyhow, I'm just adding one and then click on save.
and you can go through other options like menu and post to make changes according to your needs. And also, CSS functionality is being introduced. And whenever it will be available, you will be able to add CSS coding to make it look even more appealing. Then you have menu links where you can add wiki links. And you can create a new tab by clicking on create new tab. Here write the name of the tab and to add link let's add a flare link. And then click on save. And here you can see that a new tab has been created. And if you want to delete it, click on the pencil icon and then just click on delete tab. And here you can see that the tab has been deleted. And by using sidebar widgets, we can add many things like rules, flares, social media links, etc. So go to sidebar widgets and here you can change the colors of your widget. For now, I'm going to add my subreddit rules. Then to add a widget, just click on add widget. And here you have many options to select from. And what I'm interested in for now is adding rules. So select rules. And click on create community rules. It will open a new page where you will have two options. Rules and removal reasons. Now click on add rule to add your subreddit rules. Here give your rule a name. And select one from the following options whether the rule will be applied to both posts and comments or post only or comments only. And if you want, you can explain it a little bit more. Then click on add new rule to add it to the list. And here you can see that your first rule has been added successfully. And if you want to add more, you sure can add up to 15 rules. Now go to your subreddit main page and either refresh your page or click on create post. And here you can see that your subreddit rules have been added. And if you want to edit them, Either you can go to the sidebar widgets and select subreddit rules or you can edit them by going to rules and removal reasons. Here just click on the pencil icon of the rule you want to edit and save it after making your changes. And here you can see that the changes have been applied.
Now let's add a welcome message a new member will receive when he she joins our subreddit community. And to add a custom message, go to Mod Tools and select General Settings on the sidebar. Scroll down a little bit if needed. And turn on this option. Here, just write your message and you have a limit of 5000 connectors. And to test it, you can just send a message to yourself. Then click on Save Changes. Now, go back to your subreddit main page and refresh it. Here, click on Messages under Notifications. And this is how your message will show up. Well, since my subreddit is about skill building and productivity, I will post contents about different topics and to categorize them, it would be a good idea to use post flares so that a member can find the related contents conveniently. So to add post flares, go to Mod Tools and here you can see that there are two types of flares, user flare and post flares. Since I'm going to add post flares for now, just select it and I will add the user flares too a bit later. Here you can see that post flare is disabled. Just ignore it for now and click on add to add your flares. Here write the name of your topic or you can name it whatever you want. Here you can change the background color of your flare and also can change its appearance by changing colors or adding images. Moreover, you can change the flare settings whether who can use it. Then click on save to add your flare. And here your first post flare has been added. Now add more flares if there is a need and to enable your post flares click on settings and enable your post flares. Now your post flares are available to use. Then go to your main subreddit page and click on create post. And here you can see the post flares which we can use while creating a post. Now let's add the post flares to the sidebar widget so that a member can find the related contents conveniently by categorizing them. So go to sidebar widgets under community appearance. And click on add widget. Here, instead of selecting any other, simply select Post Flare. Then write the widget title and make changes regarding the colors. And select whether you want it to appear into a single column or word cloud. And here you can see that you can add up to 50 Post Flares and then click on Save to add widget. And here you can see that the post flare widget has been added. Now open the post flare widget we have just added and click on add flare. Here search your flare you have created earlier and add them. And then click on save. And here you can see that the post flares have been added. Now go back to your main subreddit page and here you can categorize the concerned contents by selecting any flare. Well this is how our subreddit looks like for now. 
And if you want, you can go to these linked pages to read and learn more. Anyhow, let's create our first post. And to create our first post, either you can click on make your first post or click on create post. Here, you see four different tabs where you can post your contents. If your content includes text, images or video, you can post it under post tab. And if you just want to share an image or video, you can post that under image and video tab. And if you want to share a link, you can share that under link tab. And if you want to do some sort of surveys, you can do that under poll tab. Now let's make a simple text post first. Now put your text here and format it according to your needs. Then for the title, you can write anything that resonates with your content and categorize it by applying a flare. Remember, not all subreddits enable this feature and in those subreddits, you don't need to add it to your post. And if your post is about adult contents, you need to apply NSFW, which is not safe for work. It means that the content you are posting includes some adult language, images, or video. Anyhow, apply a flare and then click on post. Now, our first text post has been published. Now, we can share it, approve it which means if someone posts something on your subreddit which you don't allow, it won't be published right away. You as a moderator will see the post and can approve it if it's okay to be published on your subreddit. And as a moderator, you can remove a post too if it's not following the rules you mentioned in your subreddit. Then we have some other options we can see as a moderator and can apply them too to the post. And this is how the post will look like on our subreddit main page. Anyhow, if you want to post an image or video, you can do that by going to the images and video tab. You certainly can post your images or videos under post tab. But Reddit has made it convenient by providing another tab. So go to images and video tab and upload your image first. Then we will upload a video too. Well, put some title and add a flare. Then click on post to publish your image. And this is how your published image will look like. Now upload your video and put some title. Then add a flare. And when your video will be uploaded, it will give you options to make GIF, or select a thumbnail or delete it. Then click on post. And this is how your video will look like. And if you want to cross post a post through your profile, just go to your profile and find a post you want to cross post.
Just open it and click on share. And select cross post. Here select a separated community. And add a flare if it requires. And then click on post. And your cross post has just been published. And if you want to share a link of any article, blog or video, you can share that here. Just put the name of your blog here. And then copy the URL. And paste it here. Then add a flare and click on post. And this is how your link sharing post will look like. And if you want to do some surveys, you can post that under poll tab. Here, write a title of your survey. And put your question here. Then, if you want to give some options, you can put them here. Then choose for how long the voting length will be. Then add a flare and click on post. Now it's published and people can vote just by selecting from the provided options. Well, if you want to schedule your contents, you need to go to my tools and select schedule post. And here you can schedule your contents. Just click on schedule post and add your post. Then instead of clicking on the post, click on this icon. It will open a small pop-up window and here you can select the options according to your needs. And then click on schedule. And here you can see your schedule posts. And if you want, you can post it right away, edit it or delete it. And if you want to pin an important post on your subreddit, just add your post and apply a flare. Then click on this icon Here click on this drop down and select submit as first sticky post option and then click on apply And here you can see it's been scheduled and when it will be published it 
it will show up as a pinned post and this is how it will look like. And if you want to embed your article link, just put some key points from the article and then add the title of the article. And then just highlight the word or words you want to use to embed your article link. And then click on this icon which will open a small pop-up window. And here just add the link of your article and click on insert. And your article link has been embedded. Moreover, if you want, you can upload a short video too. Then apply a flare. And instead of posting it right away, I'm scheduling it. And when it will be published, this is how it will look like. And if anyone clicks on the link, he she will be redirected to your website. And if you want to share and embed your YouTube videos, you sure can. And I will use three different ways to share or embed YouTube videos. First, find the video you want to share and click on its share button. It will show you many platforms where you can share it right away. Just select your platform which is Reddit in my case. It will automatically grab the link and the title of the video and then just select your subreddit community. You sure can make some changes in the title of the video. Since I don't want to, I'm just applying a flare and posting it right away. And this is how it will look like. On the other hand, if you want to upload your full video, you can do that under images and video tab. And if you want to share or embed the link of your video, just go to post tab and grab the title and some description. And then just copy the URL link and paste it here. And if we want to embed it, just embed the link the way I showed earlier while embedding an article link. Then click on post. And this is how it will look like. And also, instead of sharing your video directly from YouTube, you can do that manually too. Just go to the link tab and copy and paste the URL link of your video.
and then copy and paste the title of your video. Then apply a flare if needed and click on post. And this is how it will look like. And since I have posted the same video back to back three times, I'm just removing two out of three by clicking on the remove button. And here you can add removal reason too if you want. And then refresh your page. Well, it's for sure a good idea to add your social media links too, so that people can follow you on other platforms if they want. So to add your social media links, go to my tools, and select sidebar widgets under community appearance. Here, click on Add Widget and select Button. Now, write the name of your widget. And here you can change the background of your widget and widget title. Since I don't want to, I'm not selecting any. And here you can write some sort of description if you want. And here you can see that it's letting you know that you can add up to 10 buttons or links. Then click on add button. And name it and then add the link. Here you have the option to make it a text button or image button. If you want to make it an image button, then you need to upload an image too. Since I don't want to make it an image button, I'm just keeping it a simple text button. And then you can change the color of your button if you want. and then click on save and here you can see that your link has been added and you still have nine to add now click on save and here you can see that your links widget has been added and this is how it will look like Now you can add more if you want. Moreover, you can change the hover color too. And then click on save after adding your links and save again and here you can see your links have been added and when you go to your subreddit main page 
this is how it will look like. And when you click on your links, you will be led to your profile. Well, when your community reaches to a point where it becomes a bit difficult for you to manage it alone, it's a good idea to make someone a moderator to look after the community when you are not available. So, to make someone a moderator, go to Mod Tools and select User Management. Here, go to Moderators and click on Invite User as Mod. Here, write the username or handle of the person you want to make a mod. And then, you can just authorize whether what he can do as a moderator. And then click on invite. And here you can see that he's been invited as a moderator. And you sure can delete the invitation if you want. And when you go to your subreddit page, Here you can see that he didn't accept the invitation yet. And this is the invitation email he received. And when he goes to his Reddit page and opens this message, It will ask him to accept or decline the invitation. So just click on accept and he will be led to your subreddit mod page where he can manage what you have authorized him to do. And Reddit will not only inform him about the invitation acceptance but also you can see him in the moderator section. Well, after adding someone as a moderator, you can use a user flair to distinguish yourself from other mods. And to do that, you need to create user flares. So, go to Mod Tools and select User Flair. Here, click on Add and name it whatever you want. And you can change the flare background color if you want. Moreover, you can make it available to mod only or you can make it accessible to users to edit it. And then click on save. And here you can see that your user flare has been added and you can add more if you want. Then go to your main subreddit page. and click on this pencil icon and apply your user flare. Then just refresh the page And here you can see that the flare has been applied to this user. 
and when this user will create a post this player will show up next to his name and if you want to edit your user flare just go to user flare and click on edit and here you can make changes according to your needs and then click on save and here you can see that the user player has been changed and to apply it go to your subreddit page and then click on this pencil icon again and reselect the edited flare and then click on apply and here you can see that the edited flare has been added to the user Well, one of the ways you can use to grow your subreddit is to connect with other Reddit users, which you can do either by chatting with them or sending them messages. So I'm going to one of my posts and opening a couple of users' profiles. And here you can see that when I hover my cursor on the username, it gives me options to either start a chat or follow him. Instead of chatting and following, I'm opening his profile on another tab. Here, click on more options and here you have many options among them is send message and remember not all users allow others to send them messages so click on send message And here, just write your message and put something on subject line. And then click on send. And as soon as you will click on send, the Reddit will inform you that your message has been delivered. Now it's time to put contents on your subreddit, sharing them on social media platforms and invite people either by chatting or messaging so that they can see your contents and join your subreddit community. And this is how you can create and set up your subreddit. And if you have stayed this far, please consider supporting by liking, subscribing and sharing your thoughts in the comment section. And I hope this will be helpful for someone out there. And thanks for watching.